Hello everyone, I'm Aziba. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about natural on a budget. Today I will be doing one of my special hair oils. This is a batch that I had already done. I uh, it's in it's in a solid state because I kept it on the refrigerator. But the one that I'll be doing today will be able to stay at room temperature. So what's in this hair oil? I have rosemary neem and I have moringa for my oils I have coconut oil and olive oil you can see where the olive oil is settled in the bottom so I'm going to mix it so that it comes together and I have lavender oil that I'll be using for fragrance okay so here we go I'm mixing I'd already gone ahead to pull off some of the leaves from the plant. I'm just ensuring that this is well mixed. And now what I'll be doing is to pound the leaves in the oil. Until it turns to a paste. Now again, I use neem because neem has antifungal properties. So for persons who have dandruff, this will be good for you. Or any other scalp issues, this will definitely be good for you. Um, the moringa because it has a lot of nutrients, a lot of benefits. And the rosemary, it adds fragrance. And not only fragrance, but it is good for thinning and balding. Uh, some persons may or may not know that the ro the rosemary the raw in raw gain actually comes from rosemary so even in the mainstream medicine it is used the rosemary is used as a treatment for hair loss so you don't have to have hair loss issues to use this but um i'm just telling what what are the benefits of the things that i'm using the coconut oil has been a staple on the jamaican um landscape in terms of when it comes down to home remedies um it has a lot of benefits too and the olive oil that's moisturizing so i'm using an essential i'm also using this essential oil lavender and this will also serve as a carrier oil so in the interest of time because it's taking a while i've decided to run this in the blender everything in and as I say I'm, I'm going to be doing this until it reaches up to a paste if you have the time because it's always better to use your hand to do these things so that you don't bruise the plants too much but in the interest of time, I think I will still get the desired consistency and the desired benefits from this. So the cord is short, so here goes. So this is as small as I could have gotten it in the blender. This took me exactly 10 minutes to get to this consistency.
going to strain now as I said I won't get a lot but you can see that at the beginning I started with clear oils and now my oil is green next stage in the process is to warm the oils so I'm going to set this bowl into some boiling water and allow everything to seep together and then I will come back and show you the final product I will be transferring to this bottle so I've removed my oil from the flame this is just one of the ways that you can do it you could actually allow the paste to stay intact meaning just allow the leaves to stay in and then you put it on the in the boiling water but I chose to remove the the leaves and just allow the oils to come together with the substance from the leaves this is where I will now be adding my lavender oil I'm adding three drops please leave me a comment let me know whether you'll be trying this hair oil also please remember to share like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this showing how you too can live naturally on a budget thank you